golf swing, okay? Setup wise, I think looking at it at the moment looks fine, okay? Yeah. Probably quite tense in the grip and just a little but bit that's stiff not the in anyway, issue. but that's, yeah. yeah. I mean, it will affect slightly in terms of if you are tense, your movement's going to be yeah. tough. What we're really trying to work on, and this is the main focus, is getting this body on that red line to rotate yeah. around the axis there. So the simple drills we talked about there, okay? Put it against the wall, yeah. yeah, and just feel the arms rotate. Obviously, you can't put a golf club down there unless you've got some sort of magical shelf. You could kind of stick it out there. You could put a club down there. Maybe you could work out something, okay? But yeah, getting your head against that wall and just feel that exactly. rotation. That's really head. Oh, it's fine. Get that rotation and feel that movement better, yeah. okay? So when you're on the previous thing, okay, on the left, you didn't really twist your body. No. You just drag the arms here behind yeah. so the club now at this point now is way behind you okay yeah. now we're moving the body better so it stands to reason the club would in theory be further back if you're turning your body more that club's going to go further behind yeah. you so it's still a little bit behind you but not as much as it was before but you're turning better yeah so that's where the club is there now the hands now are more in front of the yeah. torso you're turning better you're rotating around that axis on that spine and when you get to the top of the back swing we're in a good spot okay now from here that head or the spine has got to maintain on that red line as best we can it can have a little bit of a sort of pop down there but it doesn't want to start moving towards the golf ball okay you can see the back of your head there's kind of on that line at least the club now is coming in from an angle more down the line reasonable strike and we can hit a golf ball okay once we got to here now this was kind of your back swing now again say not bad in terms of where you got to but if we put a line through there now <laughs> That movement there, and that sort of dropping the golf ball. And what it did as well is obviously steepen the club. Yeah. So the club now is coming steep, kind of outside the line. And then you had to make adjustments from here down to that golf ball, which is about at that point there, I don't know, tenth of a second? Yeah. Fifth of a second? That, yeah. There's not a lot of time, is there, okay? Yeah. And it's not it's not got a lot of distance to travel anyway. So now you've got to try and get back out of the way. The club was coming back a little bit sort of steep on that. You're just catching it a bit low on the club face. You can see your arms through the ball now yeah, all awkward, look yeah. tucked up because you've just reduced the space for your arms to swing, yeah? Your arms start off at a dress, kind of relaxed here. You've got yeah. there's plenty of room for your arms to swing, yeah? If you drop into the ground and you get lower, yeah. well, that space that you've created in the setup, now gone. Yeah? Yeah. And then you've got to do something with your arms. And initially, you probably did nothing. Hit the ground behind the ball with some funky shots. And then when you started reacting to that, rather than fixing the fault, which was obviously that spine angle changing position, you just then brought your arms in and up. Yeah. But now if your arms are trying to do this, they're not controlling the club face. Yeah. yeah. If you're trying to adjust where the ground is and you had difficulty doing that on a flat mat with no pressure, no consequence, yeah. doing the same shot over and over again, and with all due respect, you never really found a good strike no. initially. So yeah. if you couldn't find a good strike on a flat lie with no pressure and no wind or outside elements, yeah. what a chance on a golf course? You've got with different length clubs, yeah. sloping lies, wind, all this. It's like a needle and haystack job, isn't it, yeah. to try and find that swing. So in terms of that moves will be very very difficult okay so that right shoulder if you want to try and get staying down a little bit more you can see your shoulder here a little bit steeper compared to that one there which is good okay and then we can rotate through so on this right one here now again follow through yeah you could argue turn a bit more with your right foot there okay there's a bit more rotation yes they're going to go left when they strike them better okay yeah. more so because your hands and arms have been trying to sort of figure out how to square the club face up and been doing more than they need i would say at the moment now in some ways when you go to the range your your sole purpose or your sole practice is to work on strike and how well you strike it. Whether the ball goes that way or that way or that way, initially in the first session, I don't care. Yeah. yeah. Just want you to get in a good spine angle, get the engine, yeah, yeah. working better. Yeah. Once that's working better, then we can kind of fine tune that with the club face. So I'd say, I don't know when you're playing next or when you're practicing next, get down the range, ping a video two through yeah. to me and say, look, I'm on the range now, I'm feeling a better strike, how's the swing looking? And we can just thumbs up or thumb down, whatever the reaction may be. And then once you kind of feel you're getting a reasonable strike, then maybe in a couple of weeks' time, we'll go, okay, right, now we'll look at direction. Once you've got the body working, you haven't got to think about what it's doing. It just does what it does. Yeah. Then you can start looking at different parts yeah. of the swing. Okay. But to do it now... Too much. You're not it's concentrating on getting, nice. well, get, get getting the yeah, back. Well, the thing yeah. is, we could get the club face back square. I'll probably, hopefully, as I start... You'll probably figure out where the ball is anyway. Say, yeah. I mean, you did it a couple of shots. Well, I mean, I was a bit thin, and you yeah. went, oh, actually, that's quite a good shot, wasn't yeah. it? Because for you at the moment, what I would expect to see, and in some ways want to see, and in an ideal world when you go and play golf, what we would hope to see there is you extending up to the shot, 
thinning everything, but thinning them straight. That yeah. one you went, oh, that was thin. You looked up and went, oh, that's gone quite straight. Yeah. Yeah, it's gone a bit shorter where it could go, but we don't want to get this sensation if you're sort of trying to slam it in the ground, okay? Yeah. The sensation is we're going to try and hit the club into a little bit shallower. A really good draw, which actually I'll draw on here now so you can remind yourself, we'll just show in a second. Go down the driving range. It's more of a drill, really, um, for driver to try and yeah. shallow out your angle of attack. But what you can do is put a head cover or a bottle of water or something, probably just outside your left foot. Generally speaking, with a, the, with a drive we've done it, it's about 12 to 14 inches in front of the golf ball, and you swing to miss it. If you come down too steep and across the ball, you just smash into it, because your club will be coming down from high to low after the golf ball. Now with a nine, generally that's what we'd want to have, because it's quite an extreme drop, trying to go the other way and feeling a bit shallower, I think will make sense, okay? So we'll, we'll use that foam there as an example, okay? But yeah, when you're hitting balls on the range, Place something down here, like a head cover or something. I mean, if you whack on the range, you have to go and get it. I suppose your main coach is deliberately miss it. But yeah, definitely get something in front of you there. And you're swinging the club more up this way. So you'll feel kind of an extended lift rather than this drop into the yeah. ball with that right shoulder. Okay, yeah, so hopefully yeah. that drawing on there, when we do it now, will make sense yeah. when you watch back on the video. Okay, mate? Yeah, cool. Good stuff, right.